Hello, welcome. Pause the video, read the problem, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so I wrote this problem a while ago uh, when I was actually looking at Chipotle's online menu and this claim that you can order over 65,000 menu combinations. And here are the options and there's some special notes down here, but my plan for this video, I'm gonna solve this problem fairly quickly and then I want to spend the rest of the time talking about why that works and also so what are some common errors. So for the first minute or so, let's talk about how to solve it. Then we'll kind of step back and explain why that makes sense and why some other techniques might be a little bit different or might lead you to perhaps an answer that's incorrect. All right, so how does this work? Well, first you have to pick one of these in category A. That's salad, burrito bowl, burrito, burrito bowl, or taco. So it looks like there's four options here, but actually there's more because it says down here, note number one, you can get one, two, or three tacos and you can get them all soft or hard. So that just means that uh, if you're going to get three tacos, they've got to all be soft tacos or all be hard tacos. If you're getting two tacos, they've got to be all soft and or all hard, but they can't be one of each, for example. And that, and that matters a little bit. We'll talk about that later. Um, so so what does that mean? Well, let's keep track of this because we have a lot going on right here. Uh, the first thing I want to think about is um, let's call this category A because we're trying to find the total number of possible orders you can you can make. So first you're at category A. How many choices do you have in category A? Well, you have one, two, three things here, but then really with the tacos, there are two types of tacos, hard and soft, and three amounts you can get, one, two, or three. So it's actually two times three possibilities, right? You can think about a little tree diagram. You got a hard taco and a soft taco, and then for each of those you can get one, two, or three tacos after that. So that's actually six additional combinations plus three, okay? So that means our first choice, category A, there are actually nine possibilities. And actually, let me just kind of write this the other way. I think I would like that better. So. Um, I'll write the category underneath. For category A, there are actually nine choices. Okay, then we go to category B. All right, here, there's three choices. White rice, brown rice, or no rice. You have to pick one of those, okay? Now, as we go on, the amount of choices will be the product of these, uh, the amount of ways each event can happen, each choice can happen. That's the fundamental counting principle. Um, so here we have black beans, pinto beans, and no beans. So for choice, for category C, the third event, there are also three choices. And then we go to category D. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. And then finally, we go to category E. Category E is a little bit tricky, but it says pick as many as you want. Let's go to our special note here. You cannot get a double order or greater of any ingredient in category E. For example, you cannot order cheese. You can only order cheese, not double cheese. So here, let's just Let's just see what that means. That means there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten things, and you can order none of these things, or one or two, all the way up to all ten of them. So really, what we're looking at right here are all the combinations, all the ways you can order from ten things, none of them, right? Or you can from ten things you can order one of them, or all the way up to your, your ordering from 10 things, all 10 of them. Now it turns out that this condenses down to two to the 10th. And why does that kind of make sense? Well, because every time you're looking at an ingredient, you're saying yes or no to it. So when you look at guacamole, there are two choices, yes or no. Corn, salsa, yes or no. Mild salsa, yes or no, and so on and so forth. So each of these has two choices. So altogether, there are two times two times two times two, 10 times choices here. And this, just based on this menu right here, and this estimate, is equal to the, the total number of possible orders. So let's just pull it up on the calculator so we can get that. So waiting for it to load. Do, 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 do. And then what we'll do after we calculate this, we're going to look at some of the background here. All right. So 2 to the 10th times, oops, so my exponent there. Delete that. Okay, and we'll go backwards. Times six times three times three times nine. 
497,664. So 497,000 orders, 664 orders. So this is quite larger than 65,000. They've definitely undercounted. Now, I'm just going to turn my notes here for a second, and I just want to remind myself some of the things that I saw when students work on this kind of problem. Um, so, so let's just think about why we're able just to, to go back here to multiply all this stuff. And I'm not going to draw the whole tree, obviously. That would have a lot of branches, over 497,000 branches. We're not going to do that. But I think it makes sense to have a picture of the situation in our head. So you, you're online, you start off, and you've got lots of choices. And you've got a salad. This is going back to the very beginning. You've got a burrito. You've got a burrito bowl. Bear with me here. You, and then you've got some other options. You can get, I'll write this way, one hard taco. You can get one soft taco. You can get two hard tacos. You can get two soft tacos. You can get three hard tacos. And you can get three soft tacos. Now I chose to write it this way because I wanted to highlight that at the very beginning there are actually nine possibilities. So these are the nine possibilities. Now the tree will grow for each of these choices. There's going to be a whole new set of choices. But I'm only going to highlight one of these branches. Let's say three soft tacos. So if, from that branch right there, think about what is next. In category B, just got my notes here. Okay, in category B, if you get three soft tacos, what's next? You can get white rice, I'll put WR for white rice, brown rice, or no rice. And that's actually true for all the things here. For each of the nine things here, there are three possible choices in the second category. This is category B. But then for each of those things, oops, for each of those things, there are three choices as well. If you get white rice, you can also get black beans, pinto beans, right, or no beans. And then for, that's our third choice. So for each of the nine, there's three. And for each of the three, there's three. So that's nine times three times three choices. And then, yes, there's more. For each of those, I'm just going to highlight one path here. There are six choices. You can get sofritas. Oh, I'm saying that right. Oh boy. Carnitas, barbacoa, chicken, steak, and veggies. Oops, veggie. That's choice D. But then for each of those, and this is where my tree kind of becomes super difficult to draw, right? That's where we have the 2 to the 10th. Because. There's a whole list of possibilities here about what you can order next. But the idea is to multiply all these things out to get the total possibilities. Now, what I wanted to point out is that um, you know it matters if you can order different combinations of tacos back here. Because what starts to happen, let me just extend this. If you can order other combinations, what else can you order, right? You could order, let's see, one hard and one soft taco. And that now becomes a new possibility with a whole new set of branches. You could order two hard and one soft tacos. You could order two soft and one hard taco. So we have three new possibilities here. So instead of nine, there are 12. And I believe that is all of them because the order doesn't matter per se. So if we are allowed to actually mix up and let's say order different meats and different rices on each of the different tacos, we want to kind of imagine what's going on. So let's just use an example. Let's say, let's go back up here. Uh, let's use the three soft tacos again. If each of the tacos, right, if you could order different fillings for each of the tacos, that would triple this amount. In other words, these three branches right here would have to happen for each of the types of tacos, right? You're only three soft tacos. For one of them, it could be white, brown, or no rice, and so on and so forth. So if we're allowed to mix up the types of tacos, and we're allowed to put different fillings in each top taco, what starts to happen is, is really nice. It's really cool. It's that this, let's say this one will be tripled, so times three. So will this one, times three. So will this, this one will be doubled, times two times two, and then so will this one, 
times 2 times 2 and times 3. So look at that, we've got, oh, this is times 3 as well, there are 3 tacos here. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So this answer times 3 to the 4th times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 to the 3rd. Now I, I'd imagine that's a little bit more like what actually happens inside if you're ordering. So we go back and we say, all right, well now it's, if we have more variation here, it's 12 times 3 times 3 times 6 times 2 to the 10th. And then it's times, what was that, 3 to the 1, 2, 3, 4th. Oops. Times 3 to the 4th. Okay. And then that times, I believe, 1, 2, 3, 2, so 2 to the 3rd. Boom, bigger number, look at that. So right here we're talking about, here we've got thousands, here we've got hundred thousands, million, four hundred and twenty-nine million possible orders. And that's not including other things that, that you uh, can order in Chipotle as well. So the next time you look at a menu, think how many times, how many different ways can I order from this? Because the answer might surprise you. Thanks.